Hello everybody and welcome to your 12th LEGO 5 tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be loading in images. And uh, what we've been doing before, we've been using uh, shapes and stuff like that and different things. But you can only do so much with those. Uh, eventually when you're making a game you're going to want to include some type of image or sprites or whatever. Right, so I'm gonna be teaching you how to load in images this tutorial, and then for the next like few tutorials, we're gonna be learning on on doing spread animation. Okay, so first of all, what you wanna do is you wanna put your sprite into your project folder. So what do I mean by the project folder? Well, the project folder um could be different depending on on which IDE or compiler you're using. Okay, so um. For for Visual Studio or Visual C plus plus whatever, uh, what you want to do is go to your the folder where your your project's named. So my my project folder is called Learning a Lego Five. You click that, and then you'll be greeted with this folder, uh, this page, and you'll click the learn um the project's name folder again, and then you'll put your image file in there. So right now I put in a PNG file format, and for those of you who are coming from a Lego 4, uh, a Lego 5 supports PNG files along with bitmaps and other files formats. Uh, if you want a list, you can look at the Allegro um, document page or whatever. So you put in this folder. If you're say like using Dev C++ or or Coblox whatever, you would put the image in the same folder as your other CPP files. So basically, wherever your CPP files are or wherever your game files are, uh, that's where you want to put your image. Okay. So I have my image in there. So PNG file format. Uh, and what I'm gonna do, first of all, we have to. Uh, include uh, the drawing function. So what I'm going to do is a level five, and we're going to do Allegro underscore image dot h. Okay. So we need to include the image dot h so we can use it. Now with uh with most includes, uh first of all we have to initialize it. So l init image add on. Okay. So we initialized our our image add on, and uh now now we want to do something. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is uh, images in in a Lego Five are called bitmaps. Okay, even though the, even though you can use PNGs and uh, type formats and other type formats, they're called bitmaps. And one thing you should notice now with a Lego Five is that although the the methods and stuff are, are long and stuff. You should notice a pattern with uh, them. Whenever you're using making a variable that is uh, clear with the Lego library, you'll notice that all of them are of uppercase value, right? Uh, and you'll notice that whenever it's declaring a variable or something like that, what it will it will be a uh, it will be uppercase and it will start off with the word Allegro in it. So if you know if you know that you want to create a bitmap, remember that you have to put Allegro underscore and then whatever you're trying to create. So uh, that's a thing that you should know as well. And for other methods and functions or whatever that uh, the Allegro uses, normally uh, it will be AL in lowercase uh, letters representing Allegro underscore whatever you're, you're doing, whatever method it is. Uh, so that's just a little thing to remember in case like you kind of um forget what the function calls are or whatever so anyways uh we created our player and it has to be a pointer to the player and because the pointer uh we have to destroy it after so what we're gonna do is do l load bitmap and uh, it takes one parameter it just takes uh wherever the file is located uh so player image one dot png Okay, so before we do anything else, what we're going to do is we're going to destroy our, our bitmap so we don't forget to do that so we don't uh, end up with any memory leaks. So destroy bitmap and we're going to destroy the player bitmap. Okay, so we loaded in our bitmap and now we want to draw it okay so this is uh we're still going to be using the mouse cursor anyways but what i'm going to do is just do al draw bitmap and the bitmap we're drawing is player and our x position 
so x y and for flags there's two flags you can do like allegro underscore flip horizontal or you can flip vertically so you can uh you can you can flip the image if you like uh in the flags etc etc so or i'm not sure hold on let me check yeah i was correct i, I put the number zero here instead of uh doing uh O. so yeah allegro flip horizontal will flip the image horizontally and if you do allegro underscore flip underscore vertical it will flip the image vertically but if you don't want to do anything then you can just do null here now with the mouse uh in the last tutorial the dx and dy represented uh the displacement or whatever since the last frame uh but with this with a player the dx and dy uh represents the player's uh actual position uh so if we run this program So wherever our mouse moves, that's where our player moves. And I, I know this image is uh whatever, it's kind of big for mouse curse or whatever, but uh what I'm doing is that I'm I'm using this image because we're using this in the next tutorial in order to do spray animation. Uh so basically that is it for this tutorial. Uh, if you want to learn where I will have in the description where you can go and make a sprite sheet like this uh, so you can utilize it for the next tutorial. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and bye.